four, Louise Abstin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. I've, I've called Louise Abstin. Uh, question number four, Louise Abstin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education and asks, what investment has the government made in Budget 2010 to build new schools and modernise others? The Honourable Anne Tully. Uh, Mr Speaker, great news. Budget 2010 provides $349.3 million in new operating and capital funding over four years for school property. This includes funding for building new schools and improving existing school buildings and comes on top of government funding of more than $500 million as part of Budget 2009. What, prop, what does Budget 2010 do to combat the problem of leaky buildings in schools? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Oh, Mr Speaker, in 2010-11, $82 million will be spent on remedial work on leaky school buildings. $82 million. The Budget also provides $22 million over two years to help ensure that these our repairs are progressed quickly and to survey high risk buildings so that we can get a good handle on what work is left to do. The problem of leaky buildings has been well known for nearly a decade, but I was aghast to find how little work the previous government had done to get repairs started in the schooling sector. This government won't be sitting on its hands while children sit in classrooms with water dripping onto their books. The Honourable Darren Hughes. Supplementary to the Minister, will Waikanae on the Kapiti Coast be one of the sites where, new, where property is purchased for a new primary school as a result of Budget 2010? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, the uh, local member for Otaki Electorate is working very hard with me on the issues in Otaki, and he will, I will be keeping him informed. Point of order, the Honourable Darren <laughs> Mr Speaker, I, I asked her a, a non-political question about, about a town not very far from here where there's population pressure and uh, my view is they need a new primary school. I've asked her about the budget. I didn't need to hear what conversation she's alleging she's having uh, with one of her colleagues. I'm, I'm just interested to know whether or not why can I might get a new primary order, school. Order. Under the circumstance, what I'll do is invite the member to repeat his question so that everyone can hear it again. The Honourable Darren Hughes. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Education and I ask her, will Waikanae on the Kapiti Coast be one of the sites where property is purchased for an additional primary school as a result of the money she's announced in Budget 2010? Uh, Mr Speaker, as I said to, in answer to that question, the local member for the Otaki electorate has been working very hard on behalf of his electorate and he and I will be making any announcements that there might need to be made about school property in the future. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, it might be that you ask Mr Hughes to ask this question again and we get third time lucky, uh, but, but sir, it was a, a very simple question. It, it, you know, in, in the end there are a range of answers, but they sort of go to yes, no or I don't know, uh, and sir, that one didn't seem to go to any of those. Well, I'll hear first uh, the Honourable Rodney Hyde. Order, a point of order has been called. Thank you, oh, Mr Hyde. Speaker. I have to say, Mr Speaker, that answer was perfectly in order. Uh, the Minister was asked about the purchase of, uh, well, about a school in Waikanae. The Minister replied that she's in discussions with the, uh, the local MP, as would be appropriate, and that any, uh, the deliberations are ongoing and announcements will be made in the, sh in, in, in the short future. I can't see how you couldn't give a fuller answer ahead of a, a, a government announcement. I know that it irks. Um, Order, no, the member's done very well up until now, but uh, does the uh, Leader of the House wish to add to this uh, consideration? No. I think, I think the, in fairness to the, uh, the members, I mean, I, it was an interesting point, because it was a very direct question, but in fairness, I think the Minister said that when that the matter was under consideration and an announcement would be made when a decision had been made, and, and I guess, you know, a more... Pro it, one cannot insist on a more precise answer than that. Uh, is there a further supplementary? Louise Upson. Why has the government allocated funding towards the removal of surplus school property? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Mr Speaker, the government has set aside $40 million over the next four years to reduce surplus school property. The first target will be the removal of unsightly buildings from vacant school sites. These vacant buildings often attract vandalism 
and antisocial behaviour causing much unnecessary distress to local communities. Their removal stops this and allows at the same time the Crown to save money through reduced maintenance and security costs. Question number five, the Honourable David Cunliffe.